Okay, take 10. <laughs> Seriously. Um, so I've been doing some research lately on muscle growth, which is known as muscle hypertrophy. And the reason why I've been doing that is because I'm in my bulking phase. Um, and I'm trying to increase the size of my muscle. And I like to have the knowledge um, of how that happens in my body. And I feel like it'll really help me in the gym, which I feel like it already has. So there are two different types of muscle hypertrophy. And the first one that we're going to talk about is for bodybuilding. To really increase your size as fast as you can. And it's really for looks. And so that type of hypertrophy, um, scientifically, is called sarcoplasmic hypertrophy or sarcoplasmic reticulum hypertrophy. It's also known as non-functional hypertrophy because you don't necessarily increase a whole lot in your strength, but just size. So they're kind of like, your muscles are for looks, not for, you know, strength. And um, there's a whole ongoing joke, I think, there. But um, so the sarcoplasmic reticulum in the muscle cell is just the white part surrounding the actual red fibers, as you'll see in this picture. Um, the sarcoplasmic reticulum is full of calcium ions, glycogen molecules, uh, creatine phosphate, ATP, so all of that good stuff that feeds your muscle. Um, it's kind of like the power source of the muscle and that's where our glycogen is stored and all of that. So you can increase your glycogen stores, really pump it full of all of those things. Um, and another benefit that comes from this kind of hypertrophy is your endurance. So you end up getting a stronger endurance and then your ability to contract and keep your muscle there. What these people do that want to bodybuild, they increase their reps um, to like 10 or 15 and they have a lower amount of weight so that they can do that. But I don't want to make I don't want to make the mistake of doing this and I don't want other people to make the mistake of doing this is like getting a 5 pound dumbbell for some of you girls and just doing like 25 million reps. That's not the point. Um, you still want to push it. You want to be able to feel those last reps. You want them um, to be difficult. So you really want to make sure that your intensity level is there. Um, no matter what kind of weightlifting that you're working on. So um, I still try and keep my weight as high as it can be for 10 to 15 reps. I really try and push it past 10 now. I really try and hit my 12, 15. Um, and if I can do more, then just keep on doing more. And if you can just do like 20, 25, you're way too light in your, your weight. You need to stress your muscle and you need to stress it for a certain amount of time according to some research that I've done, like 10 seconds at least um, a set and then you don't want to take too long of a break in between because you want to really fatigue your muscle. That's another thing that um, some people talk about when they talk about sarcoplasmic hypertrophy is really fatiguing your muscle. So it goes back to that endurance and all of that, you're depleting those glycogen stores, um, really working them and using them, and then, and then I didn't want to get into this, but diet later after you work out, you that's when you really want to like eat your carbs and your protein and really feed that muscle, um, which is important for repair and for growth. So that is sarcoplasmic reticulum hypertrophy in a nutshell and that's why we do higher reps and that's why we don't necessarily do super heavy weight. Um, there is crossover between this and the next hypertrophy that I'm going to be talking about. It's not just strictly one and strictly the other and it would be beneficial to do both types of exercises to incorporate both of them into your workout. Um, which I've already been doing with my leg exercises. I have a heavy leg day, and then I have two real medium days. So um, the next one is the myofibril hypertrophy, which is the red part of this muscle that I'm showing you, the actual fiber. And what you do with that is, um, and it's called functional hypertrophy, so you're increasing strength. And it's going to take you longer to increase your size when you do this, um, but your strength can increase without increasing your size. And this is what Olympic lifters do, power lifters do, and that's why you'll notice that bodybuilders are bigger than these power lifters, but they're not as strong. So that's the explanation for that. So 
um, what we're doing with this is we're going to do no more than five reps. Some people do one, some type people do three, and you do higher sets. And so you're just going to do like, I don't know, five, eight sets of, of these reps. Um, these low, low reps, but super heavy weight. And I'm looking at my computer right now, and there's a chart that I want to show you, but I want to look at it. Yeah, you can do this but it'll take you a lot longer to get stronger. Okay, and so here's this, um, this chart, and it says for maximal strength, if strength is your goal, you want to do one to three reps, um, and, you know, it should only take you four to ten seconds to do that, to do that rep. Um, and then for strength, again, well, that's for maximal strength, and then for, you know, just strength goals, you can do um, four to six reps a set, and then it, it, and it shows you over here your energy system as well. And then for hypertrophy, which is just muscle growth, you do eight to 12 reps. I push 15, but um, once I get to 12 or 15, then I tend to increase my weight, so then it goes back to 10. I try not to do eight. I try to do at least 10 reps. Um, and then if I can do 12 or more, then I try and increase the weight, bring it back to 10, and so forth. So anyways, that's a good little chart to use um, for your goals. But I imagine if you're watching this, you're probably a girl, probably in interested. Well, not probably a girl. You guys are, I think I have like about 50-50 male to female <laughs> um, subscribers. Um, but so this is good for all of us to know no matter what our goals are. Um, so basically... That is uh, functional hypertrophy or myofibril hypertrophy in a nutshell. One thing that people don't do is they don't work on their intensity. If you're not feeling it, it's not doing anything. If your muscle's not really working and feeling stressed, then you're not working to your full ability and you're not going to see your maximum results and you're just wasting some time. Not completely wasting it because some exercise is better than no exercise, but if you really have a goal in mind and you want to achieve that goal, and then you should have that purpose in your mind when you walk into the gym, and you'll see better results in a faster amount of time, and that's my goal. I want to see my results quickly. I don't want to like, I don't know. I'm just not big on wasting time, and it's just not for me. Let's see if there's anything else that I ignored. Um, I think that's it for now. I don't want to bore you with all this stuff, but I just thought it was good to know why am I doing, you know, 10 to 12 reps. Well, I'm trying to work on this part of my muscle and blah, blah, blah. So, hope that helped you guys out. If it did, great. If it didn't, sorry to waste your time. <laughs> and uh, I will see you next video.